hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you all are doing well so for today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful natural looking round lace closure with that said let's jump right into the video so if you haven't seen the video uh, my previous video showing you showing you guys how i make this round lace I'll put the link in the description box down below. So be sure to check out that video, okay? So that way you will know how I make this closure from scratch. So for today's video, I'm going to be using braiding hair. You can also use human hair if you want. So to use human hair, I have a video showing you guys how I prep my human hair um, before using them for a lace closure so i'll also link that link, link that video in the description box down below be sure to check it out okay so to ventilate the hair for today i'm going to be using the tiny large hook so this is what i'm using for today's uh, video so first thing first you need to take a small amount of braiding hair fold it over to create a loop okay so once you've done that then you need to go in and start so to start you need to take your tiny crochet hook pass it through the hole on the lace so next you need to hook two strands of hair close the lash hook and pass it through the lace using the crochet hook hook the hair and pass it through the loop so i'm using the single knot method for today's video <music> So when it comes to ventilating lace closure or lace frontal, I like to walk on a little session at a time and walk my way to the very front of the of the lace the, of the lace closure or lace frontal. So for this one, I'm going to be dividing it into four equal sides. So that way I'll walk on one session first before moving on to the next session. A session at a time. Like step by step session by session so by doing this help you to calculate kind of give an idea how long the entire uh lace closure would take you to finish uh making it so when you walk on one session at a time then you times that by how many sessions you have on the lace just you know you need to take break every now and then to stretch your body if you are sitting and uh, to rest your legs if you are standing <laughs> okay so you need to give yourself time okay you can't just rush it if you rush it the result is not going to come out the way you want it to look to get, achieve the best results, you need to give yourself time to create it to your liking, to create the vision that you have. In when I say take your time, don't just like, oh, ventilate one or two strands of hair. And like, oh, all right, I need to take a break. No, <laughs> that would take you so much time like it would take too long for you to finish ventilating or making your lace closure if you do it that way when i mean take your time you can spend an hour or two at a time on a sit down so spend an hour or two to walk on the lace and if you feel like taking a break after one hour or two hours then you can take a break okay so you can just do that every day if you have the time uh, even if it's like 30 minutes you can spend that 30 minutes every day and if you really really want to create your own or make your own natural looking lace closure or lace front so you can spend even 30 minutes a day to just walk on the lace and before you know it you will have your wig looking amazing <laughs> okay amazing and you, when you know what when you start every day with a clear mind right okay let's say today i'm just gonna i don't have that much time but i'm just gonna spend one hour working on this wig but if you do that every day before you know it 
you will have your lace closure or your lace frontal and also if you are a beginner you don't need to start with a big size of lace okay if you start if you're a beginner and you decide to go with a four by four lace closure or a six a six by 13 lace closure it would get it, it would get a bit frustrating for you to try to ventilate that on your first project my advice is to start with a little size of lace closure like a a, a one by five or one by six so one inch would be the width of the lace and then the four inch would be the length of the lace start with that practice with that get your grip on how to ventilate the hair so once you've learned the process or on how this whole thing works then you can from there you can upgrade to a bigger size of lace oh also real quick when ventilating the hair you need to make sure to give it space in order to get that natural looking result you need to space it out by skipping every other hole on the lace so i'm debating on the kind of hairstyle i'm going to be using this wig uh, wig <laughs> i'm going to be using this closure for at first i was thinking maybe i will use it my initial plan right i was going to use it for a pc cut wig now i'm changing my mind i'm now i'm thinking i should use it for uh a, a french banks hairstyle either sew in or make a wig with it or even use it as a crochet style you can do the uh, sew this round closure on the middle part of on the uh, crown and then the rest can be crocheted like the rest of the hair can be crocheted um, i don't know i'm so yeah that's what i'm thinking about what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below all ideas are welcome okay and uh yeah so this is it this is the final result right here it looks so beautiful it looks super duper natural looking this is it right here this is what happens when you take your time when you take your time this right here look at that i'm i'm saying scalp people <laughs> right <laughs> all right guys as always if you find this video helpful if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button down below if you already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for popping by and i'll see you all in my next one